Hi, welcome. In the previous session, we took some questions on the introduction to internet and some terminologies. If you haven't watched the video on the previous session, you can check the link to it in the description area in the comment section below. In this session, we are going to take more questions on the internet and World Wide Web. So without wasting much time, let's start. The first question says, what was the original purpose of ARPANET? Now listen, ARPANET stands for Advanced Research Project Agency Network. Okay, the NET stands for Network. And it was developed by the U.S. Department of Defense. Okay, and its original purpose is to facilitate military communication. So the correct answer to this is option B, to facilitate military communication. That was the original purpose. So let's proceed to the next question. Question two says, when did ARPANET become functional? Now, ARPANET became functional in the year 1969. So keep that, it's very important. It became functional in the year what? 1969. Let's proceed to the next question. Question three. What is the current definition of the internet? The internet is a global network for interconnected computers that communicate using standardized protocols. So the correct answer to this is option B. A worldwide telecommunications system. That's the correct answer. So let's proceed to the next question. Question four. Which organization oversees the research and sets guidelines and standards for the web? The organization that oversees the research and sets guidelines and standards for the web is World Wide Web Consortium. Okay, so the World Wide Web, which is WW, is what is referred to as W3. So it is W3C. The correct answer is option C. Okay. Let's proceed to the next question. This question says, what does an IP address do? It is important to know that an IP address is a unique identifier for each device or computer on a network. So it enables accurate data routing. So the correct answer to this is option B. It uniquely identifies each computer or device connected to the internet. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question 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 six which of the following describes web 2.0 now keep in mind that web 2.0 refers to the second generation of the world wide web and it is a phase with more user generated content and usability so the correct answer to this is option c a phase with more user generated content and usability let's proceed to the next question Question 7. What is a domain name? knust.edu.gh is a domain name. philosians.com is a domain name. philosmasterclass.com is a domain name. Okay. But based on the possible answers in this question, the correct answer to this is option B. It is a text version of an IP address. Remember, IP address is in numerals, it's numeric. But domain name is in text that you can easily understand. So when you see knust.edu.gh, you know you are going to knust website. You get it? So the text version of an IP address is a domain name. Let's proceed to the next question. Question 8. What is a thumbnail in web terminology? When you share this video to your friends on WhatsApp, you you see some small image on it telling you something brief about the video. That is a thumbnail. The correct answer to this is option A. A small version of a larger graphic. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Question 9. What is the main purpose of cookies on websites? Pay attention. Cookies are small pieces of data stored by a web browser and they can track and save information about your interaction with a site. That is why when you open a web browser, if you have searched something before in a web browser, it can suggest those things to you. 
So the correct answer to this is option B. To store user data and preferences. It will store your data and preferences. So let's proceed to the next question. Question 10. Which of the following is a common use of HTTP cookies? Now you should know that HTTP cookies are used to track your sessions and also to remember your preferences. So the correct answer to this is option C. Tracking user sessions and preferences. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Question 11. Which term describes the process of saving a web page for later reference? When you open YouTube on your web browser and you click on bookmark, it will save that page for later reference. So the correct answer to this is bookmarking, option A. Let's proceed to the next question. Question 12. What is netiquette? When you see netiquette, you should know it is referring to the rules for online behavior. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. 13. What should you look for to ensure a website is secure before providing personal information? Before you provide any personal information on a website, you should look at the URL, the address. If you have HTTP, please be very careful. But when you have HTTPS, it is secured. Another way is a padlock icon would display beside the URL. You see it there. So to ensure that a website is secure before providing your personal information, you can check option C, HTTPS in the URL and padlock icon. So those of you who have been sharing links around on WhatsApp to your friends, for them to click and get 5,000 CDs, which is not possible, be very careful. Most of those links have HTTP. So be very careful. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Question 14, what is the function of a DNS server? Now, DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it is used to translate human-readable domain names into IP addresses, and it allows the browser to locate and access the web resources. So, the function of the DNS server is to translate domain names into IP addresses. You know, domain names are readable, like knust.edu.gh. But the DNS server will translate it to IP address, which is numeric. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Question 15. What is the significance of Internet 2? Now, it is important to know that the purpose of Internet 2 is to develop advanced network applications and technologies for high-speed data transfer. So looking at the possible answers here, the correct answer is option C. It is a research project for high bandwidth applications. So let's take some few minutes break. You can check the link to the next session in the description area and the comment section below. Thank you.